Yeah, well, this is our Crestron uh, touch panel. It's the uh, head of the control system. It's where you control all the audio and video for the facility. So if I go here and pick video, I then pick which display I want to control. So if I pick monitor one, I can pick direct TV one. I think it was a little bit of a freak accident. They had somebody there doing security, mm -hmm. and they asked, I think this is how it happened, uh, they asked the security who would be capable of putting together such a large system locally. And they recommended us, a security company. And so they contacted, Homeland Security contacted us. And we went down and said we could do it, designed a system for them. And basically it's a monitor, mon monitoring center mm -hmm. that is being shared by the FBI, Customs, Border Patrol, Homeland Security, local sheriff, uh, pretty much anybody involved in law enforcement so they can monitor the Olympics and respond and coordinate response for an emergency such as a terrorist attack. And you, when you write a program you have to keep in mind you want someone who can walk in who's never seen this thing before walk up to a touch panel and it has to be very intuitive. You have to be able to walk up and say okay I want the Whistler traffic cam on those two TVs now. Hit the button. I want the Super Bowl on those four TVs Sunday night for our meeting. Boom. I imagine it's going to be pretty intense because they're going to they're going to be trying to monitor every event. Our budget was around 150,000. This has been really good press for us. We've heard there's some national interest in doing some of these small centers. Some other agencies we heard from working here may be interested in building some small facilities with the switcher we put in around the country. We started back in uh, about 1982 mm -hmm. and it was primarily just satellite television. That's all we did and it kind of progressed when the home audio, in-wall speakers, uh, stereo, whole house stereo systems was actually a fairly new business. So we're like contractors. We all meet here in the morning and everybody has tools and we install 95% of what we sell. But there's um, eight of us, that's it. We are also one of the only com first company to do cell phones in Whatcom County and became quite large. And then when everybody else jumped into it, we got out of it. What separates us from everybody else is we'll go out to the house and help them figure out what they need. We're not gonna just sell a TV to, you know, a 60 inch TV to a guy that's only going to be sitting eight feet back from it. We're going to maybe talk him down to a 50 inch TV. So, as far as how business is, it was an interesting year. It was like a roller coaster. I think what saved us is trying to not grow too big, just trying to work a little harder when we get busier.